Hello there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. We're making our way through Matthew right now in a new international version. And uh, today's scripture comes from Matthew 11, verses 7 through 15, and this is what it says. As John's disciples were leaving, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed swayed by the wind? If not, what did you go out to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? No, those who wear fine clothes are in king's palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way before you. Truly I tell you, among those born of women there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist, yet whoever is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been subjected to violence, and violent people have been raiding it. For all the prophets in the law prophesied until John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, who was to come. Whoever has ears, let them hear. Mind if I pray for you? Lord Jesus, thank you for the example of John the Baptist. And he um, is so powerful and uh, has been an amazing preparer of the way before you. He was baptizing before you did. He uh, felt unworthy to untie your sandal. He witnessed your baptism. He prophesied about you. He was not... um, given to uh, to wildness in the sense of his behavior, but in his actions he ate locusts and wild honey, and uh, he was a little bit out there. But we thank you for that, Lord. It shows us that there's a place in the kingdom for all sorts of different kinds of people. And it also unveils to us your plan from the beginning, that there would be, from the moment There was never a surprise when the fall happened. You already had a plan in place. And from the moment that happened, and even prior, there was this plan to reconcile the world to yourself. And there would be um, the nation of Israel supposing to point to you, but missing the boat and going into exile and all of the prophets saying all of the things about your frustration with that nation. And yet um, we had Elijah who followed after you and Elisha, his predecessor. And here we have this looking forward to that there will be someone that prepares the way for the Lord. And that is um, John the Baptist in the spirit of Elijah. Uh, He uh, showed us how to live. He showed us how to follow you. He showed us that he was just a man. He often said, I'm not the Messiah. He said, you must increase, but I must decrease. And so Lord, today we pray that prayer for ourselves. We pray that prayer that John, that those words that John the Baptist said, that he said to Jesus, you must increase, but I must decrease. So Lord, show us what that means to magnify you today, to make you greater in our lives, to acknowledge your greatness in our lives, and to understand our humbleness and our lowly state before you, that we are simply your servants and you are God. And so many times this world has gotten things wrong. They have made people gods and we have chased after our own happiness as if we are gods and we can fulfill every whim that we want. Forgetting that to be a Christ follower is to take up our cross daily, to deny ourselves, to serve others, and to follow you, Jesus. And so teach us that kind of spiritual ethic today, not to be so great ourselves, not to pursue our own awesomeness, not to Uh, long for everyone to applaud us, but instead reorient our lives as John did, that everyone would applaud you, that they would see you in us and applaud you in heaven. It would not be that we are trying to curry favor for ourselves. And along the way, Lord, as we worship you and as we serve others, as we love God and love others, our lives are set right and we have the proper amount of effervescent joy because of our ability to let go and to let you be the king of our lives. Forgive us for thinking that we have to run the show. Forgive us for thinking that it's all up to us because that's simply not true. We trust in you. We choose to decrease today. We humble ourselves before you, the mighty God, that you may exalt us in in that proper time. But in light of that, we worship you, we praise you, we love you, and we give you our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You're such a blessing to me. I am grateful for you. And I, again, I think I say this a lot, but I applaud your, I applaud, not a prod, applaud your tenacity in wanting to grow in your relationship with Christ. You may or may not know, but I do art on the side and I sell my original paintings online. So you can go to, if you're interested, these are all based on scripture, etsy.com slash shop. <laughs> etsy.com slash shop slash restory art and um it may be restory arts i can't remember it's either art or arts so you'll find out when you click it in there uh, but you can look at all those i also have a line of greeting cards that i've created and a necklace too so if you're interested do that and that also in a, a kind of a backward way but in a real way it does help support the ministry of pray every day so thanks so much and have an amazing day